And despite the coronavirus pandemic, people found ways to commemorate this Memorial Day while still sa staying safe. Two News reporter Adam Reif explains why many still gravitated to cemeteries to honor those who served. No major parades and the ceremonies are modified, but people are still gathering to honor the fallen on Memorial Day. You don't quite grasp it until you're a Gold Star family. Then you understand the true meaning of Memorial Day. James and Leslie Groves always commemorated Memorial Day, but it took on a new meaning in 2013 when their son, James III, was killed in Afghanistan during his fourth tour of duty. Good kid. Played peewee, baseball, softball, football. He had a sense of humor, though, and uh, he would always yeah. pick on Dad. Uh, he used to ask Dad what it was like to have George Washington as a squad leader. On Monday, the Groveses took part in a modified ceremony to honor the dead at Dayton Memorial Park. Leslie Grove says in commemorating those who sacrificed their lives, we should make it personal whenever possible. They died twice the day that they stop breathing and the day people stop saying their names. And while not every family is impacted as deeply or as personally as the Groves family, they remind us we all can take a moment to appreciate what's been lost. Memorial Day is not happy Memorial Day. It is a day for respect, for remembrance, and some reverence. This is one of seven modified ceremonies the VFW Honor Guard is taking part in today, each of them keeping social distance guidelines to try to keep people apart. In Dayton, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.